Hello world, welcome to Coda Design Lab. This is fourth part of our Django tutorial series, and in this series, we are creating a question answer website. So in this video, we will create a home page for our website. So if I show you the screenshot, then it will. So here you can see the screenshot of home page, the prototype of home page. So it contains the menu, search and list of question and at the end it contains the pagination. So we will uh, design this uh, template in Bootstrap. So this is just a prototype. I will, uh, I will create this template in Bootstrap 4. So let's start. So the first thing we need to do, we will go to the folder of our project and create our templates folder here. You can see I have created this template folder and now we will open this views.py file. So we will open this views.py file and create a function for home page. So definition home request return render request home.html and now we will create in templates folder home.html so if we have created here home.html now we will define the title and let's define the heading and now we need to create a urls file which will load our views dot uh, views function and here we will create from django dot urls import path and then we will include url patterns equal to path i will keep this empty and here I will define the function views.home and define the name and import the views file. And add this application URL file in the project level URL file. So go to the project folder and here I will add the import the include package functionality and here I will add path and include main dot urls and now we will start our server manage dot py run server so our server is running now so here you can see we are loading a home page at the root so now we will attach a uh, we will uh, download bootstrap 4 and attach to this home page so here we copy this and we will save this on desktop so it already exist so I will copy this text from desktop and keep this in create a static folder create a static folder and add the uh, bootstrap.min.css and now we can load this in our home template so here I have defined the home template bootstrap4 link css and in Django if we need to load the uh, assets or you can say if we need to load the JS or CSS then we need to load a static tag in views template so load static 
and here we will define static and in static we are now in bootstrap.min.css so here we have included our css in our home template so let's check this so you can see uh, it has changed the font so if i go to my view source and here i will click this then you can see here we have loaded the bootstrap file now we will create the first section the menu section so what will i do i will go to bootstrap and type here navbar and copy this navbar we need to this navbar so i will copy this and in my home page i will paste it here and if i refresh my page so you can see we have a navbar but we need this navbar in a container so i will add a div here container so that this container will create a box type template so here you can see and now we need the menus we need the this menus at the right section so we go to our ul and ml auto so this bootstrap class will uh, keep it right right section and now we will make this dark so now we have a dark menu and we remove this we don't need the disabled we actually need the home questions tags ask and profile so home questions ask home question tags tags ask and profile so this profile uh, uh, menu is conditional because when the user will log in then it will show else it will show the login logout so we will do this in our upcoming videos so here we have a menu now we need to create a search function uh, this uh, search section so what will we do so here i will add the we need to define this div in the nav not out of the nav let's indent this now it's fine now we define the search section so search section and we will create a container we will create a container for this and this container i will give this padding padding y y means top and bottom 5 and i will go to the bootstrap and find the input group so i will find the input group and i will check this this kind of section so what i will do i will copy this div and paste in the and paste in the container I remove the margin bottom 3 and go to our home page so here i have a section so now i will make it more 
minimize so class row and class call md8 and offset so this will this will offset uh, two columns from left and right and we will put the home search in the middle so now it's looking nice and now we will make the button dark and the change search and we will make the button more bigger and font control will also bigger form control lg and the placeholder will be search so this is indication text actually so we have created our search section now we need to create our question list so after the search we will create a question list for this i will create a div class container in div class row i will not uh, take the row i will take div class card and in the card i will contain div class card body in the card body I will define the title card title so this will be our question so I will make it more font size short so this will be our question and now we will define the paragraph for our question detail so this will be our class card text so here i will add question detail question detail and now i will add i will add the user so john and i will add here i will have add five answer we will make it dynamic we will make it dynamic in the upcoming videos comments and we will define a margin right t we will define margin right so this is looking very nice and now we will check this yeah so now this is looking very nice so now what will we do we will copy this we will copy this uh, let's see this we need to we will copy this card and here we define the margin bottom 3 margin bottom 3 and uh, let's define this three questions so we have defined the three questions now we will define the pagination so 
so what will we do we will go to the bootstrap and here we will add a pagination so in the screen i have just created the prototype so you can see we are creating a, a template slightly different from the prototype so in screen this is just a structural idea okay so pagination in the pagination we will take this pagination and add it here and i will also define the class margin top bottom a so here we have a pagination but it is in the so we have a, a so it is in the container now so let's add this in active class so we will add the active class at the first link the first thing we have added that active class so here you can see we have defined we have created our home page now one thing more we need to change in the home page we need to add here ask me in the brand ask me so we have created our home page now in the next video we will create the question detail page and we will also uh, create our base template so that we don't need to add uh, this header section in all templates we will extend the our base template so that we can add common things in every template and we don't need to repeat the common things in every template so in the next video we will create a question detail page and we will also fetch the uh, data from database so Thank you so much and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.